Hello, Kelly. It's your boy Psychic Samario here. Psychic is shorter than Psychic of the Stars with your Sagittarius Love Scopes for the week of April 14th through the 17th, 2020, the year of our Lord and Savior. Here's for the sun sign of Sagittarius and Leo. Let's get it crack a lack. All right. Rosemary, Joseph, Dennis, Lawrence, Mark, Tiffany, <coughs> Ancestors of Odin, New, Archangel Michael, Archangel Ariel. Kendra Chamuel, Kendra Raphael. Okay, I got the King of Swords. Just popped out of my hand. Call me the Magician. Kendra Ariel, Kendra Chamuel, Kendra Raphael, Kendra Gabriel, Kendra Metatron. Give me two more spirit. Kendra Uriel, Sun Card. Ishu Papalekpa, Oshun, Shango, Goon, Iba. Message you have. Okay, Ace of Cups. All right, upright. Yeah, good. All right. Well, it looks like some new love or some movement forward, some nice sexual energy, Sagittarius and Leo. Give me five of these, spirit. Okay. Yes, got passion ignited. Yes. Okay. All right. We got mental conflict. Okay. That explains the King of Swords. Okay. What's going on, Leo? Power, okay, got the power card here just popped out. Okay, Leo. Okay, we got truth, Sagittarius. And underneath that, I like I don't know what this is, but I'll take it. Stand your ground. Okay. Somebody needs to speak up for themselves or say something or put something out there. Okay. The King of Swords probably came out here. All right, give me five of these, please, spirit. All right, I'll take it. We're going to go bam here. Daughter romance in reverse. Blossoming abundance on the truth. We're going to go Archangel Uriel in reverse on the power. Woman holding a heart under mental conflict and journey in reverse on the passion ignited. Okay. Clarifying card Archangel Gabriel. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but that's Archangel Gabriel. Okay. All right, all right, and uh, I'll pull for my timing oracles here so I get some time, the timeline run about here. Okay, okay, got October, okay, future, okay, next February for past, okay, it looks like maybe. Someone trying to get pregnant, have a baby summer under October. Just giving us a range here. Oh, and also, I'm going to take the card that flew off here. It's not the right time. February. So February wasn't the right time, whatever this was, okay? This was what it's saying. All right. And clarify the summer for me, please. Clarify this summer for me, Spirit. And we got January, February on the left side here. Okay, summer. The answer is no. Okay, summer, the answer is no. October will be the date. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, saying summer, the answer is no. October will be the date, okay? Some of the answers no, October, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. So we also have, so we have Passion Ignited, all right? Above Journey in Reverse here. Got Archangel Gabriel came out here. I don't know if you guys saw earlier. He just kind of, okay? Uh, woman holding a hot mental conflict, maybe waiting for this Leo man to divorce or leave this other person um, or vice versa. Uh, so it's adjacent to power. Okay. Also, someone coming to power, Sagittarius Leo, you're coming into more of a power and awareness. As you can see right here, transformation is happening with you. It's where they see your clairvoyance and your dreams and the things and deja vu, the things you've been seeing and hearing. Um, okay. Synchronicities, those things of the sort. Truth above blossoming abundance. And we also have stand your ground above door to romance in reverse. All right. So let's go ahead and break this down. Okay. And get this crack a lacking here. Okay, I'm going to zoom out here. All right, and when 
we have our three significated cards here. I'm going to go ahead and grab those three significated cards here, which is the King of Swords here, upright, the Sun card, and the Ace of Cups upright. So we go ahead and grab these three significated cards right now. All right, and then let's take a look at the meaning of these. All right, the King of Swords here. Okay. King of Swords. Oh, sorry, it's going to be on the other side. Here, there we go. Sharp and decisive, the king is a strategist, often associated with successful business practice. Adept or very good at solving problems, he is the ultimate manager, seeing the bigger picture while leaving others to work on the smaller issue. As a symbol of a situation, projects take off, but do pay attention to detail to avoid delay. Okay, it also speaks to standing your ground. Okay. Mental anguish, having to re go over stuff, having to stand your ground, and feel like you may be having to repeat yourself a couple of times when it comes down to um, arguing over something that maybe may petty or something small. Okay, Leo Sun this came out here. All right, this, let's go ahead and see what this says here for you. Okay, all right, the Sun card. All right. Let's see. Success, time for good things in life. Love, sunshine, rest, and play. This may be an extended trip or time to travel further afield, but the message is recuperation rather than adventure. The sun also describes the honeymoon period of a new relationship in love. You feel like a child again, innocent and carefree. The card can also signify children coming into your life. The hills shelter the sunflowers from... Okay, that's what it's saying. Okay. So this was talking about, about, talking about the picture. Okay, Ace of Cups here as well. Okay, came out here. All right, see Ace of Cups. All right, hello. Uh, as cups are associated with the element of water or love or emotion, the Ace predicts emotional fulfillment, creativity, and contentment, right? From falling passionately in love with the person. Oh, wow, all of this fire energy makes sense, Sagittarius and Leo. All right, or an ideal to following a spiritual calling. Okay, again, transformation here happening. Spiritual calling, there we go. Or artistic pursuit, pregnancy, and motherhood are also indicated because the overflowing chalice of the ace symbolizes ultimate femininity. Again, talking about babies, okay? I don't know if maybe you have you had uh, avoided some children before Leo or Sagittarius, and now you're thinking maybe you know this could have a bearing on you because I see you holding a heart here, and then maybe heavy on you the guilt. Let it go, okay? That had to happen, okay? What spirit is telling me, okay? Stand your ground, door to romance here. Let's read the door to romance card in reverse here, real quickly. All right, the yeah, yeah, romance in reverse, and that's the Golden Tarot by Liz Dean, the book I was referencing earlier. Thirty-three. Okay, this is Daughter Romance here. This is Sandra and Taylor. All right, Daughter Romance thirty-three. In reverse here, all right, it says, this card reverse indicates a delay or disappointment where love is concerned. In a present relationship, it can also be a sign of distance or separation, right, because of the quarantine potentially, or the coronavirus could be potentially causing this, right? Um, stand your ground. It could be someone asking or demanding sex from one or the other, or more for someone's time and not trying to give anybody money for it in exchange or something, you know, a reward or exchange for something, okay? Or maybe something might seem more detached and it's more so about the virus. And someone's probably overthinking, like, this has to be something more than the virus. Nah, there's something else going on. This motherfucker got to be shacked up with somebody and doing something because, I mean, this is not like him or like her, okay? This is what I'm saying. So, um, again, um, it's a sign of distance separation. For some, the door to love may seem to have been shut for a long time, but the energetic universe is always in a state of flow or flux. Knowing this, you can work on making changes in your daily life that will bring more love into your experience. So remember to make yourself and your own happiness a priority. Encourage yourself and always acknowledge how valuable and deserving you are of receiving your own love of others. Okay? So the universe, you so tell the universe you're ready for real love. So basically, I'm saying this underground, stand your ground and saying, you know, make a motherfucker make a decision if it's going to be you or this other person. If you ever deal with someone who's trying to leave the, another relationship or leave the person that they're with and they said they're going to be with you and, you know, February, you found out it wasn't the right time. OK, you've been with this motherfucker since january or february potentially okay that's what i'm seeing someone maybe you know he was like oh what happened he was like oh not the right time i thought we were going to move forward with this relationship but something happened installed or you know 
stimmy or something like that, all right? I'm saying October is going to be a good point for your relationship, okay? Right now, it's in the summer. The answer is no, okay? It's going to be quarantining. So, yeah, the shit's not going to be going down. Sorry, okay? But October, is, I can see your relationship shit blossom and flourish. It should definitely, some changes happening in more permanency, okay? Again, my name is Psycho Samario. If this resonates with you, uh, comment, like, share, and subscribe below. You can also book a reading with me. My email address is also in the description box below as well. This, this is the... Again, this is the weekly Love Scopes reading for Sagittarius and Leo for the dates of April 14th through 17th. I love each and every one of you guys. Peace out.